Oh, great. I knew I should have sold those shares. Hello everybody and welcome back to Plutocracy. In our last episode, we actually made a million dollars. We can open our books here and we can see straight away that we are millionaires, but we're not just millionaires, we're almost two millionaires. We're really close, we're really getting there. Of course, it doesn't mean we've got that much money in the bank, that's just our net worth. And we've made up a lot of that through uh, buying shares. Now, we've got shares in a few companies now. Um, these are very small shares, so for, for these three companies, we literally, we literally had a share each just so that we could have a look at their books. And that was a, a good way to, to have a look at what to target. We ended up targeting Vink uh, here, uh, the transport company, and we own a good amount of shares in that company. We're also plowing money into Howard Petrol. Howard Petrol have a decent uh, turnover, a decent uh, profit, and they also pay a lot in dividends. So we are earning a good amount of income from them. The bulk of our income actually comes from uh, Howard Petrol. Our shares in that company are worth a lot of money and they are generating us a lot of money. So very happy indeed. Uh, that basically leads me on to my strategy. I want to have a controlling um, stake in Howard Petrol. At the moment we're at 18%. So would it allow me to navigate? Yeah. Okay. So hang on a second. Oh no, that was our ROI. Okay. <laughs> So, so we've, we've got a piddly share. We've got a very small amount of uh, um, shares in Howard Petrol and we're still earning a, a massive amount of money from them. So what we need to do is increase this. If we had something like 18%, we would have a controlling stake in the company, but we're not there yet. We've only got 267,000 on us at the moment. Uh, and if we want to acquire uh, this guy's shares, then we would need about 600,000. And it looks like he is going to be quite difficult to deal with. So I think we need to uh, get some more money behind us before we actually try and negotiate. Um, we might try and uh, grant some people some wishes. I won't be able to sell this guy a house because I don't have any. Um, What's this guy wants to do? Uh, wants to change? Whoa, hundreds. That's that's pretty high, guys. I don't think I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to vote that one down though. So I'm going to have to say yes. I don't have to say yes, but um, yeah, I'm not sure I would have made a difference with these uh, these people here with like plus 18 percent or whatnot for voting for it. But that's the work plan is very high so it, it's, it's it's like all of the stakeholders are basically um, using this company to milk money essentially the net income has dropped quite a lot so I don't think this is probably the way to go it's probably a b much better way to run the company and it's probably due um, like using expansion um, but we just don't have any money to expand, which is really annoying. Uh, it'd be really good to get this company to take at least an, a loan, hang on, like just to cover the cost of a building. But nobody's going to want to do it. No, because they don't want to reduce the monthly expenditure for the company, um, which is kind of dumb really we're doing everything we can to try and increase the uh, the revenues uh, because we are working on demand I believe is it demand selling price we're working on selling price uh, so we're, we're trying to affect that world price is having an impact at the moment but hmm what we'll want to do is gain a con controlling stake in that company and maybe start turning it around, increasing the profits again. Uh, but we shall see how we can actually do that. Okay, I'm going to continue running. Uh, we're not going to buy a yacht. 
we are going to move on to the next quarter. Right, so now we've got 400,000 in the bank, so we're closer to being able to negotiate shares off the other guy. Let's take a look at the stock exchange. Um, okay, their stocks have crashed. So we've got 10% decrease in Coopers and Partners as well. Don't know anything about these guys. Maybe let's have a look at Coopers and Partners. Uh, let's go to the map. So they are profitable. They've got a relatively small market cap, smaller than the other transport company. I'd say let's buy a share in them and then see what their books look like. So let's just change this to one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we have got two shares. Well, there you go. <laughs> um, fine. <laughs> let's uh, let's have a look at the company, I guess. Then. Right. Oh, that's the wrong. That was the wrong one. Oh dear. Coopers and Partners is the one I was on about. Oh. What a fail. These things happen. Right, bye. Coopers and Partners. Great. Let's have a look again. Right, Coopers and Partners. So, a lot of people wanted to sell shares at the moment. We could fulfill this person's uh, request. So, what's happening here? So they are making an income, 738,000. What's that compared to the other company? Uh, this one here. Okay, so not as much as the other, as this company here. Hmm. Okay. Profitability is up. Profit margin is up. Share price is down at the moment. Were they facing an accident or a strike? No. Hmm. So it might be a good time to invest here. I mean, it's only down a dollar. But $12.06 for a share. What was the payout? 95% so if we invest in this company we will get most of the money back out of it so I'm, I might I might do that I might speak to Sarah here uh, she does have an ambition to sell a percentage of customer of uh, her shares so we could probably talk to her let's fulfill her ambition it's gonna cost us 145,000 that is inflated, but that's fine. We'll get a favour from her. And then we'll come back to this screen and we will uh, negotiate to get the rest of her shares. And she's going to agree to basically anything now because we've uh, given her that favour. It's going to go over here somewhere. Nice. I'm just going to go with that. Brilliant. So that's a 3% decrease on that current asking price. That's brilliant. Now, who else have we got? This person wants to acquire shares in transport companies. They are going to be difficult to deal with as well. Uh, this person wants to try... Wants shares again the proud uh, okay this person will be easier to deal with uh, their shares are worth a hundred well 1.8 mil but we could probably buy some off of them so remember 12.6 is the current share price let's just see if we can negotiate uh, a decent deal 
So we're starting off with that 12.6. Let's buy as many as we can. Okay. Round one. Let's try this one here. So we will go into another round of negotiations, probably. Yeah. So 12.2. Uh, I guess we'll go for this one. But not paying more. This is kind of close, I guess. 12.1. Hmm. I wonder if I give a bit of ground just to make the deal a bit more likely in the later stages. Yeah, okay. And now let's go for another round and go for the minus 4% off. And this might be cut or dry. Oh, there we go. Now we're going into the closing stages. So we go with that one. Or we can go this one. And that is still a 2% discount. I mean, I've got to give a minus a go. This looks like it's going to fail though. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll come back to him later on. Has he got an ambition? He wants to acquire 2% of that oil company. Uh, how much does he want to pay for it? I can't speak to him at the moment. Let's have a look at that oil company. Drexel Lord and Co petrol. Uh, I don't have shares in it. The share price is down there. How much? How many shares would we need for two percent? Probably more than it's worth. Let's go to the stock market. It's quite a crash. We don't own any shares, but I can can soon change that. No harm in us buying a share. Ah! Well, look at that. I didn't realise you could do that. That's a brilliant button. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So now we're, we're now a shareholder in this company as well, so we can have a look at the statistics. They are making a decent whack. Hmm. Not a bad company at all. Uh, so this is one we might actually want to invest in um, for the long term. Um, I'm pretty sure this company will have quite a large market cap. Yeah, it's down, but profitability is up, profit margin is up, share price is just down at the moment. It's down by 5%, so it might be a good time for us to buy into this company just on a personal basis. Let's go back to that one. So we could buy 3,000 shares in it, and I'd say at this stage, why not? Can I have a look at the year? Wow. Okay, so the share price generally has been going up. At the moment, it's down in the day. Let's have a look at the month again. So it is down on here. So 62.5 yesterday, today it's 55. I think I'm going to buy into it. Okay, so we've now got shares worth 174k in this company. So that's only 0.3%. So to try and get that 2% and fill the other guy's ambition would be almost impossible um, at our current rate. We are very close to having our two million pounds or dollars. I, I'm going to use those things interchangeably, guys. <laughs> uh, let's keep running. Uh, what's going on here then? So, change research funding to level one at Howard Petrol. Income would change by plus 394. You know what? I am definitely in favor of that. I don't know what it's on now, but increasing income does sound good uh, it sounds good to me all the time <laughs> let's have a look at this uh, a sailing yacht it would be nice to be able to buy stuff like this but we just don't have the money right now to spend all of our money is tied up in stocks which are giving us our income what about uh, painting okay that's also too expensive for us uh, it would be nice to get though if it's uh, starting price 300,000 and the market price is 500,000. That is pretty nice. Um, 
Also, it's the birth of Venus, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's jump back into the office and continue time. Uh, I don't want to sell my shares, but I see there's a message here. And of course, there's a crash in the market price when I don't have any funds. So I can't do anything about that. Um, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the stock in the stock market then. So where's Vinky? Vinky, where are you? Okay, so there's an accident at the moment. 1.91 is the price on the stock exchange. 1.88 is the price here. Let's go back to the stock exchange. Go back to Vinky. I could get at the moment 1.85 if I sold all my shares. Let's do that. Or if I've sold a bunch of shares anyway, 3,000 or whatever it was. Uh, let's do that twice. So uh, let's let's keep an eye on what we're doing here. So 185 sold 5,000 shares, and then if we drop another 3,000, and then let's play time a bit. Uh, it's gonna go. It's just gonna go up, isn't it? I was hoping it was gonna crash at that point. Uh, so that we could then rebuy at a much higher price, but I think what we've just done is just give away a bunch of shares at a lower price. That's kind of unfortunate. That is definitely going to rise now at the end of the the end of the quarter. It's going to jump way back up. Oh, it has gone down. 1.64. So we sold them at 1.85. It's gone down to 1.64. Is the the ask now? So I could buy back 1.65, yeah, let's do that. 1.68, yeah. 0.71, yeah. 1.72, sounds good to me. 1.73, 1.77, 0.79, and then 84 is kind of, that's the point we are at before, sort of. So we could do that, and then that's kind of like bringing our shares back up, and then 4,000 shares back there. I think what we've managed to do is bring ourselves back up to a level we were at before. So all at this slightly lower price, I think we managed to acquire more shares. So. I think that was a decent move. Yeah, it's probably okay. Let's check how the company's doing at the moment. We are losing income. It might be worth dropping shares in this company. We were trying to um, take over the company, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. Let's wait. Let's hold off. Let's have a look at our shareholders. I am a, close to being the majority shareholder. I am a board member, um, which is nice. I wonder, let's see if we can do anything to increase the income of this company. How about increasing the work balance? That was a good one. That yeah, would marginally increase it. Uh, maybe expansion? We got any reserves? We don't have any cash reserves. Is the dividend? Yeah, dividends at 100%. Let's see if we can change it. Nobody is going to want to go for it. No. I think for that we would need to become the primary shareholder. So we're not going to be able to afford to expand at all. Um, have we got a loan that we're repaying? 
Yeah, so we're going to be paying this uh, loan for a while by the looks of it. And we won't be able to uh, repay because we don't have any cash reserves. So I'm guessing that's one of the reasons why this company isn't doing too well at the moment. Um, so we might want to wait for the uh, share price to go up a bit more in that company. Um, let's get back to the important stuff. Okay, so there's an accident at Diaz Oil. So let's have a look at that one. So the share price is up at the moment, but I'm guessing that's going to drop. I'm not going to buy shares in that one anyway. Uh, let's go back to the day view. Okay. Oh, wow, the day view is crazy. Um, okay, Ava Hall owning 10% in Cooper and Partners uh, suggests change the dividends from 95 to 85. I'm going to support that because I think we need to increase our cash reserves. Okay. Now let's check this. A candelabra. We could buy a candelabra for 28k. You know what? We're going to try that. Ah, 42. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, so we paid a little over the asking price for it, but I think that will be fine. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is now just increase my influence. So I'm not too bad. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll end up getting the full set here of uh, antiquities. Um, that'd be quite nice. Antiquities uh, are a good luck charm for us. Let's jump back into the company view. I'm going to wait for the quarter to tick over and then we'll take another look at our um, oil company. Uh, we definitely need to um, put more into that one. So this is our, um, no, Howard Petrol is our cash cow. Actually we're doing all right from uh, this new one. But Howard Petrol is definitely the one that's giving us a lot of money. Um, maybe cornering the uh, petrol market is going to be good for us. Okay, so we would need seven point, uh, well, seven hundred forty-three thousand. What's happened now? Uh, oh, oh, great. <laughs> I knew I should have sold those shares. I did say, oh dear. Well, that's not good. So we've probably lost a bunch of worth now. We're still doing okay. Ah, oh, but yeah, Vinky has gone under. What a shame. Um, okay, well, that's a bunch of money that we'll never get back, unfortunately. Uh, but I guess the petrol market is still where it's at. Uh, they are still making a decent amount of money. Three mil for that one. And what was the other one? Oh, jumped all the way back here. Let's have a look at this one as well. Patterson Inc. has also gone under. So Texas isn't looking too hot at the moment, is it? We've had a few companies go under. But there are other ones though, so it's not really the end of the world. I think transport companies in this game for some reason do find it slightly difficult to make money. Um, okay, let's let's check out uh, how our wealth now compares to our opponent. So we are currently at 1.98 mil. Let's check on now. Let's uh, filter and let's have a look at who the richest person in America is. So let's uh, do descending. So of course it is still Sarah Griffin. It looks like she is increasing her net worth over time. So she's not hanging around. She's not going to make it easy for us. And let's now have a look at our opponent to see if we are still above or if he's actually overtaken us. And it looks like we still are in the lead. We're not as in the lead as we were before. Unfortunately, Vinky did go under. Probably because I didn't pronounce the name properly. 
Um, but we are still in the lead and we still are making more money than uh, Connor is. So in terms of the race to the richest person in America, I think we are we are definitely still in the running. We, our influence is way out there compared to Connor. So we will be able to make all the best deals um, swinging our influence around. So I think with that, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please do leave a like. If you've got any tips, tricks or hints about what I should do, um, or you just want to say hello, please leave a comment. And uh, please consider subscribing if you do want to see more content like this. Well, thanks for watching everybody. And until next time, goodbye.